Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Larissa L and you are on my YouTube channel Parker Kate where I feature beauty, lifestyle, and fashion videos. Now in today's video, it's a little bit different because we're going to be doing a versus video. So I have the new mascara by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, but I also have the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara by Charlotte Tilbury. So can you tell which eye is which? This one is a sample size, but the brush still works as well as the full size. I just can't find my full size right now, so we're going to use my sample size. So it's a showdown between the two. Who wins? Is it going to be Pillow Talk or is it going to be Legendary Lashes Volume 2? Keep on watching to find out who wins the Battle of the Mascaras. Let's get into the video. Okay, so first I'm going to be putting on the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. This mascara is supposed to increase the thickness of your lashes as well as give your lashes volume. It's supposed to be sweat proof, humidity proof, and have a lengthening Hollywood-like flare to your lashes. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lengthen Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I don't have any eyeliner on in this video, just so you can see the difference between the lashes. So I'm going to start by wiggling this to my lower lash line. This is a very creamy formula. It's a nice fat brush so you can get the lashes and it's definitely lengthening. It's a little bit hard to get the corners. I'm going to turn the brush vertically and get the inner corner. Okay, so my eyes look very lengthened, dramatic. I have thickness and fullness, like it said, for the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line. Oh, look at my faces I make when I apply mascara. <laughs> okay, so that is what the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 from Charlotte Tilbury looks like on my right eye. Again, it's supposed to lengthen your lashes, give you a Hollywood dramatic like flare. It's also supposed to give your lashes a nice kind of thickening effect and volume. So this is one of my favorite mascaras. Um, I love the brush. I like the formula. It's really creamy to wear. You can definitely feel it. After it dries down, it does become smudge proof, waterproof, and resistant, heat resistant proof. Um, right now it's drying down. I do have about four or five coats on the upper and lower lash line, but as you can see, it's very dramatic. It's full. It's lengthy. It looks like I have those Hollywood fake lashes on, those like Marilyn Monroe type eyes. But now we're going to compare it to the new Charlotte Tilbury one, the Pill Talk Push Up Lashes. So this one is supposed to amplify your lashes, create volume, length, create a curl effect for a natural lash lift effect without using an eyelash curler. It's also supposed to define your lashes, be super lightweight, and give your eyes a very um, natural, beautiful look. So I'm going to apply it like how I would apply it normally, and then we're going to compare the two and see which one I prefer, which one wins. Now like I said in the beginning of this video, I do have a video, I will link it down below, on a first impressions and review of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Mascara, and I will link it up here as well in case you're interested in watching that one. So I'm going to start by going in with the bristle side. I know I, it says for you to go on the flat side. I go bristle, flat side, bristle. That way you get the best possible um, look from this mascara. And I don't do what the box says where it says go in with a flat side first and then the bristle side. I just found that when I tried that, I wasn't getting the desired results. Anyways, da 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 da! Back to the video. Now this formula isn't as creamy or as thick as the Legendary Lash. And the brush is a lot more thin and comb-like if you were to compare it to like a hairbrush than the Legendary Lashes. But this brush does get every single lash and it gives me super long lashes and it's the same um, black formula. Actually, I think it could be blacker, but we will look that. So now anyways, now I'm going to go with the flat side of the brush. And I just use that to tight line and give it some volume. 
and then I go back in with the bristle side of the brush. And then I'm going to apply it vertically, well kind of more like 75 on an angle, like a 75 degree angle to my lower lash line. I'm just using the tip. Okay, so just a little bit of a close-up. Again, this is the Legendary Lashes, and this is the Pillow Talk Lash. So I don't know if you guys can see a definitely dramatic difference. I can see some very subtle differences, but to be honest, if you are looking at me right now, leave a comment below. Can you tell the difference? I can tell the difference if I look up close, but from far away, um, they kind of look the same. There's some very slight I know you guys can't really see because you're not like super zoomed in. Hang on, let's fix that. Hang on, closer. 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 Okay, now you guys can probably see what I am talking about. So as you can see, this eye, again, it's longer on the outside. The lashes in the middle are shorter. I barely have any mascara on the inner one. This is a legendary lash side. The um, lower lashes are not that defined. This one. Everything is very equal in length from inner corner to outer corner. It's a very even lift all the way through where the outer lashes on this are much more swooshed and lifted than the inner or the mid of this ally. Um, the lower lashes are completely covered and well defined. From inner corner to outer corner, every lash on this side is pretty much there. They have a volume. Um, I really can't see. This one has a tiny bit more volume by like 0 0.002 of a millimeter. <laughs> Getting scientific on you, I know. And this one, again, most of the volume is on the outer corner. So this will give you like that Hollywood kind of look where this is an everyday beautiful like, oh, I'm awake. I had sleep. Well, my lashes slept. I might not have slept kind of look. Um, definitely more defined and an evenness to it where this is more like a, um, again, like that Marilyn Monroe Hollywood cat eye effect. As far as thickness of lash, this one wins. These lashes are a little bit more thicker, especially towards the outer corner. Um, these ones are a little bit thicker than what they were, but um, again, all even in thickness. And if I was going to get technical on fullness from lash line from inner corner to outer corner, um, the Pillow Talk wins. It is the same evenness of thickness and volume throughout the entire eye. Or on this one, again, it's a more stretched out, flared like cat look. Okay, so you guys go ahead and tell me in the comments which one you think is better. Can you tell the difference between the two? Which one do you prefer? The legendary volume 2 or the push-up pillow talk mascara. Here are my thoughts. I'm going to zoom you back out. Zoom. Oh, wrong way. Zoom. Zoom. I need sound effects. Zoom. But again, it depends on what you're going for. So if you're kind of going for like a dramatic night outlook, I would probably go with the legendary mascara volume 2. And if you kind of want that everyday false eyelash, um, Bridget Bardot, like Charlotte Tilbury-esque eye, I would go with the push-up pillow talk lashes. It all depends on what you're looking for, but my top pick, honestly, is the pillow talk because I feel like I get a lot more use out of this every single day. I like how it's lightweight, everything's very even, and it looks very well defined. It's an easy brush to get on the lower lash line in the inner corner. And the lashes from outer corner and inner corner are pretty much the same exact length and volume and thickness. Whereas this one, I kind of need to finesse and do a lot more work. So overall, my pick out of these two is the Pillow Talk Push-Up Mascara. Now, I do have a video on that. Like I said, 20,000 times by now. I'll link it below in the description if you're interested in watching that. I really got in and tried to spot the differences between them to make it easier for you. I do prefer the brush in the Legendary Lash Mascara, but I want the results that I get from the Pillow Talk Mascara, if that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any requests for future videos, go ahead and pop those down below, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!